Hello, my name is Mrs. C and I'm an ELL teacher at Florida Connections Academy. Today, I'm going over the Unit 2 Lesson 2 Inquiry Skill, Record Data Portfolio Assignment. This is a science assignment that you'll complete at home independently and turn into your teacher for a grade. So let's look at the information that's shared within the lesson that we should use before we begin. Focus on skills, inquiry skill, record data. So that's what we're learning to do in this lesson. When you record data, you write down information. You can keep track of the information you find. So right down here, we can see this chart. A chart is a great way to keep track of information. Toby made a chart. He recorded data about what it feels like outside at different times of the day. So now I want to look at that information together with you closer up. Let's make that chart a bit bigger. So I could see right here it says time of day. Toby has recorded the different times he observed the sun outside. He observed it before school, after school, and after dinner. Where is the sun? He's drawn pictures for us where he can see the sun in the sky at these different times. He's also recorded what it feels like outside. What's the temperature? So it feels cool, it feels warm, and then it feels cool again. This chart shares all of the information that Toby found in a really clear and easy to understand way. Let's go back and look at our worksheet. Over here on this side, it says, where do you think the sun is in the picture on the left? So this is the left picture. This is the right picture. Let's look at that left side. Hmm. Can you see the sun in the sky? I can't see it. I can see that it's pretty bright out. It's not dark. I can see the sunlight shining on this boy's shirt. So I think the sun's probably way up here, high in the sky where I can't see it. If it were low in the sky, I would probably see it somewhere down here, right? And it might be shadowy and not so bright. So for number one, I think the sun is high in the sky or near the top of the sky. Number two says, where's the sun in the other picture? So now we're looking on the right side. Can you see the sun? Yeah, I see it right here in this picture. It is low in the sky. Now, I don't know which direction this is facing. So this could be early morning, like before school, or it could be later in the evening, like after dinner. So the picture shows the sun is low in the sky, but I don't know if it's early or late in the day. Number three says, make a chart like Toby's. Record data about what the temperature could feel like in each picture. So now you're going to record data too, using the information that we just learned. Now, there's a worksheet and I want you to make sure you download it and print it so you can fill it out and turn this in to your teacher. Here's what it should look like. At the top, it says record data and it says you will need paper and a crayon probably more than one crayon, right? You wanna make your picture colorful. When you record data, you write down information. You can keep track of the information you have found. Learn it. Toby made a chart. He recorded data about what it feels like outside at different times of the day. We know that, right? That's what we just looked at together. Now it says, try it. Look at the pictures below. These are the same pictures that we were looking at together as well. Look at the previous page. Previous means before, so here it is. Where do you think the sun is in the picture on the left? Go back, think about what we talked about. Write a nice complete sentence about where the sun is in that picture. Remember to start your sentence with a capital letter and end it with a period. Number two, where is the sun in the other picture? So now you're looking at the picture on the right. Think about what we talked about. Go ahead and write a complete sentence starting with a capital letter and ending with a period. Number three says use the chart below. Record data about what the temperature could feel like in each picture. So that's how hot, cold, cool, warm, that's just what it feels like outside at different times of the day. So let's look at that chart together and let's draw some pictures and write some words to tell where the sun is and what it feels like outside. All right, so I'm going to draw where is the sun? In the left picture, I couldn't see the sun, but this is my drawing, so I can add the sun if I want to. I'm gonna add the sun right up here at the top in the sky, right? So the sun is really high up. You can't even see it. Maybe I'll draw 
some little white coming down. Maybe I'll grab a blue crayon, draw a nice cloud right here just to show it's nice and high in the sky. If I wanted to, I could grab another color and I could maybe put a house or maybe a playground like they had in the picture, right? And draw a playground, that's the monkey bars. All right, so where's the sun? It's way up high in the sky. How do we think it's going to feel outside if the sun's way up there in the sky? Hmm. If it's winter, it might not be too hot, but I remember in that picture, all of the children were in short sleeve shirts and shorts, so I think it probably is hot outside. H-O-T, H -O -T, hot. That is what I'm guessing about the temperature based on the clothing they were wearing in the picture and how sunny it was. Now we're looking at the right picture. That was when we could see the sun, right? We could see where it was. So in this one, I'm gonna start by drawing the playground again. Just draw my little monkey bars. Doop, 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 doop. And now my sun is gonna be much lower, right? It's gonna be down here. I could actually see it going down. I might draw some little rays coming out from it. The sun doesn't really look like that, right? But I like to add them just to show the light. And this time, since it's lower in the sky, I might make it look like those clouds are even higher up this time. Now, when the sun goes down, depending on what season it is, and especially since we live in Florida, it might not get really cold, right? It might still be a bit warm since we live in Florida. But I don't want to put hot because I do know it's not going to be the same temperature as it was earlier in the day. So I might write warm or even might write cool. If it's still summer, spring, it's probably not going to be cold even at night when the sun's going down or in the evening when the sun's going down. But it might get much cooler or at least a little bit cooler than it was earlier in the day. All right, so that is the chart that we completed together. You don't have to draw the same pictures as me. This is your own work, of course. So make sure that your pictures are what you would like to draw. Just make sure you show where that sun is correctly. It's high in the sky in that left picture, and it's low in the sky in that right picture. All right? Once you get your worksheet complete, make sure your name is at the top, of course, and then upload that for your portfolio assignment so you can get a really excellent grade from your teacher. All right, thank Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Goodbye.